What is going on, everyone? It is Badger here, and we are back for number four of Inside the Badger Den. How is everyone doing tonight, Mr. Tech Rat? How you doing? I'm being here against my will, much like watching Echo this week, but I'm all right. But you're being paid in creativity. I'm being paid in virtual hugs and kisses from people who Ooh. listen to us, which is kind of cool. Oh, I was going to say, because I am neither... I'm neither hugging or kissing you in any form, be it physically or or virtually. Well, maybe no, a hug. I don't, here I don't think badgers are very cuddly. No, we're very ill-tempered. Uh, yes, I, I ask yes. you this then. What would you rather watch if I told you to do it again or asked you, begged you, Rebel Moon oh. or, or Echo? Uh, they're about the same length in time, but I probably, probably Rebel Moon. Yeah, I I went back and forth. I'll tell you this, between the two female protagonists, I feel like there was more something with Echo than there was that Rebel Moon character. I guess. I at least I don't know. She want it, maybe it was, I just like uh see you next Tuesdays. I like to break through that shell. It's very rewarding. You saw that one smile and you were like, I love oh, you. Oh, I did. She had that one smile in like the third episode. I was like, there it is. Yeah. There it is. There's yeah. a reason she, someone is putting up with her from, shit. Eh? Yeah. Well, before we get to that, because we are getting ahead of ourselves, we got to start at the beginning of the week of videos. And that was, for some reason, Marvel, all of them, really, because this all the videos here are a story of all these fuckers doubling down on everything. But Marvel is not going to, by all accounts, is not going to recast or they are going to recast Kang. They're not going to get rid of him. And not only that, they're going to make another character down the line, a fucking Kang variant. And that's over here. We got Coleman Domingo, which I, I the only thing I've seen him in, but I haven't watched it, is uh, Fear of the Walking Dead. I think like the spinoff. Yeah. yeah. It's a fan cast. And since apparently we listen to fan cast now, ever since John Krasinski, we way out to talk about it. He 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 basically said, Yeah, I like that. I like when people say nice things about me and I want work. I'll, so I'll take it. And who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Who knew actors want work? But speaking of another actor wanted work, since we're going to get through some of these, because there's a lot of videos this week, and this is actually a good one, even though I don't think they should be doing this, the live action of How to Train Your Dragon. I'm yeah, on the they, fence. They've already race swapped some of the characters in a Viking classic. There's this. It's fine. So that's to be expected. But Gerard Butler, even though I always want to call him Gerald Butler, Gerard Butler, Gerard. Is fucking gonna, he's going to re reprise his role as Stoic, the his father, Hiccup's father. Yeah. 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 I'm down. I'm yeah. down. Down with anything, yeah. Gerard. You, you know what was really good about that movie? There was Strong. character growth. Strong male influence. Father. People Father. people had oh, disabilities. <laughs> and ironically, a better amputee story and uh, uh -huh. metaphor. God, uh -huh. remember when Echo, remember when Echo, because I guess we'll just refer to it throughout of here because it's living rent-free in my head for the Neko. moment until it phases away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Living rent-free. Uh even though I had reservations about it at first. Uh, hey. I know. She just looks, she's a kid, and I get maybe she was supposed to be in shock, but like first she looks at the glass, doesn't say a fucking thing, doesn't cry. Then she's in the <laughs> hospital, looks at her missing leg, doesn't say anything, doesn't cry. I <laughs> All right. In my head, I was shouting like uh like ace ventura 2 uh, 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 <laughs> yeah yeah no 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 no. yeah like i mean forget the retardedness of that like that's no, not how glass breaks she's that's not how strong. safety glass she's a strong woman from the get-go dolan valor on a lot of things with her but we'll get back to her actually let's get because this actually does go nice you know a lot of the problems with her alaqua cox that's her name is that she, and this might surprise you, Mr. Tech Rat, she's not an actress. She's not an I actress. I actually just learned that today. On Me FNT. too. That's right. Ryan talked about the fact that she just answered a casting call because she's all the check boxes, Native American. Right. She's, you know, she's deaf. And I, she probably went there and it's like, and I'll give you one extra stamp. I'm an amputee. Well, guess what? There's like... a whole, there's a whole list now. I should probably, I should probably share this because we're very professional here. There's a whole list now when you're uh, going to get hired or you're looking for work that the Writers Guild of America, thanks to Chris Gore at Film Threat and Alan Ling have shared with us. Um, look at this. Now you can search by sexuality. By the way, if you can explain to me, I'm no law student 
or 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 graduate uh you explain to me how you can classify or ask anyone their sexuality or their, like hire them based on it their sexuality right. skin color their any of these yeah. fun things by the way one two what can I, I don't get it how do they put pot bisexual and pansexual because see and I, you know, and I remember the first time I ever story time, everyone, the first time I ever heard about pansexual, you and I have had gone to an X Easy Rod. Free. That's right. We were on the floor playing games, and some guy who I now in hindsight realized looked the way he did because he looked the way he did said, uh-huh. I'm pansexual. And this was 2013. So I correctly said, What the fuck is that? And he goes, Oh, I'm a, I'm attracted to everything. I was like, So you're bi. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I'm not attracted to men and women because those are the only two genders. I'm not attracted to them because of like their sexual characteristics, which is how you would classify heterosexuality or homosexuality, the sexual characteristics of said gender. I'm attracted to everyone based on like their fucking personality and their spirit or whatever. It's like it could be anyone. Uh, okay. Email, toaster, doesn't matter as long as like they vibe with them. I was like, you leave the Cylons out of this. Just see. I know. Uh, it seems just like a lazy bisexual. What it is, really. Lazy bisexual. Look at all these things. Some of these are the same thing, and some of these are radically different, yet they got them all there wrapped up. Oh, Here's my question. Oh, why Why couldn't you just click on the LGBT and move you on? Mean, why is why it did the you umbrella know, term enough? Subcategory? Because if you haven't noticed, everyone wants to be special, thus diluting you know, if everyone's special, no one's special. Look at all Extra these special. ethnicities. Which is fine. The world I is mean, a melting pot. Quarter man. Black Garrett could click like oh, eight yeah. or nine of these fucking things. Yeah, see, that's what you just well, said is fine. The world is a melting pot. But this, and I know what they're going to say. This is going to be, no, 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 silly. We're using this so that when we write a story about, you know, a deaf, one legged Native American woman, we can use this search criteria to find people that would correlate to that, right? That's like the, the good white pill version of what this is. Makes sense, right? It's just a search criteria so we can find better people for the job. Well, I do like that reply there from Donut ATX. What are you going to do? Test me? At this point, you can say whatever you want. Uh, yeah, because here's the point, and this is what Mike McCarthy's getting at: is that volunteering for discrimination survey? Right, right. Because let's say you do a movie about uh, a, ba- a black uh, paraplegic who like gets hit by a, a car again, and he can walk, right? And then, and then the medical company sues him. See, some convoluted shit like that, and then they look up and find out that a white guy wrote it. You can't do that. You can't white the. You can't. You can't. The white can't write the struggle so then they see they search they go who wrote this who wrote this a 40 year old white man he's straight and your character is gay and black no fired this is a discrimination survey anyone that puts their white 40 and straight will not be i mean they're already not working that was another whole article that i might cover tomorrow so how you know what i do feel is kind of like a missed opportunity excuse me we 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 started jumping in here just at the end of the season one of that robin hood show and God bless Az for uh, sailing through and telling me each episode so I didn't have to watch it. I'm glad but, because uh, if we didn't, Director X might be trying to get on our fucking nothing show. And he so would again, come on. Thing. He's that upset. He would come on. We'd be streaming with him. Sure, sure. Indigenous Australian. Do you hear Shad getting Boy. upset? No. 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 Why the fuck do they put ours on the end of that? Yeah, it's real disturbing. I'm very glad that Chris Gore... Told us about it. They're doing good work over there. They've got a exposing Disney. It's like it's supposed to be. It's called the Disney Files, much like the Twitter Files. Yeah. Uh, exposing that essentially John Lasseter was pushed out because of Me Too, even though he himself was just guilty of maybe being a huggy kind of guy. And I don't mean that. And like I'm defending a raper. I mean like he just would fucking put his arm around people. A lot of people like that. I happen to like yeah. that. I big uh, used to have uh, Italian bosses that come put their arm around you. I love it. Well, as long you as can, you don't smell, it's respectable. You can dire- and every once in a while, you can directly track him leaving Pixar to just the quality of their movies going. Bah! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but qualities of movies have been going down across the board. I'll tell you one that I was pleasantly surprised by, and that is Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Even if it's going to lose money still, it breached its 400 or it's like cunt hair close. I'm happy. It was good. It was what I wanted. Breached. 
<laughs> it was a whale joke. It's a whale joke. He it made it though, at least. And I and I, I yeah. again I again suggest that anyone catch this on streaming if you're not gonna see it, and you will not be disappointed. I would watch this again. Even Drinker, even though he has to phrase it as like, well, it was non-offensive. He said he would watch it again. So it is it, forgettable, as he said, in the politest of sense, and that it did not offend me. I laughed at some of the jokes. I liked the chemistry. It just got marred by the James Gunn saying it didn't count and Amber Turd. Yeah, you care less about it. I don't care about her situation, but the whole, like, uh, I know you mentioned, and others did also, that it feels sort of it's convoluted the word where it's like yeah, if, yeah, i feel they, like they she chopped out a, a bunch of her part. scenes uh there was yeah. just an article of um dolph lundgren coming out lundgren 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 Lung, Lung? and uh i'm sorry man i'm sorry Dolph. uh basically bemoaning the same thing of like yeah, yeah yeah okay she's a bitch it fucked with the story like the character mara still needed to be there the character yeah. mara needed a vital part and so either recast her or just let her do the fucking role and that's the part that i'm like oh and yeah that that hampered it too. But hopefully a woman that's not going to hamper production will only add to it because I actually like her and I see why he married her is Blake Lively appearing as Lady Deadpool in Deadpool 3. Even though Brian's pissed that we're fucking spoiling it. Hey, sorry. It's a dry year, bro. We don't have much to talk about. Shoot yeah. on the sets. What's wrong with you? Yeah. It's, I, it's good because, uh, again, she's a good actress. She can hot. she can handle the roles as she does. She's yeah, sure. She's hot, but it'll be fun to see the two of them get to be that open and raw with each other because you know yeah, it's gonna have a little giggity. bit of tension. They have yeah, several yeah. kids, so they've definitely been open and raw with each other before. Mine. I mean, look, you could just watch Green Lantern. They have chemistry. Green Lantern, another yeah. movie that would have been like, man, had you just kept them on fucking Oa and not given him a CGI suit. Yeah. Kept him on Oa even maybe a little bit longer because I like him in the Train ah, whatever. Word. Train. Yeah. Maybe he'll show up. Maybe maybe Ryan Reynolds oh God, will play dude. Hal Jordan in his own fucking. I. It would be the best. It only Ryan Reynolds would be ballsy enough to do that. By the way, and if this happens, I want everyone to come back to this this moment. This was the moment, and I and I guessed it. Uh, another yeah, I haven't heard anybody else say anything about it. It'll be good. No. No, I just that, that all the cameos, in fact, just the next video we talk about is Gary, and Gary is also the one that when he was with Chris Gore in the last uh, Comic-Con said that they heard that all the cameos that we heard we were going to get in Multiverse of Madness and didn't get are actually going to happen in Deadpool. Like all the crazy shit, all the Fox X-Men, First Class, all the crazy little fun little boop, boop, boop. And they probably won't saying. ruin them immediately. Ruined. No, I don't think they will immediately be murdered, but I wouldn't be sad if Deadpool killed a great many of them in some comedic form eventually. Yeah, that'd be yeah. cool. Uh, what's not going to be cool, <laughs> not, unless a miracle happens, and Gary covered this in his video, uh, video Mary Suicide, uh, hmm. which just, again, they're doubling down, they're doubling down, they're doubling down, and I almost want it, I do. I'm making an executive decision, because you go, why the fuck? Are they doubling down like this? They know we don't like Ray. They know everyone's apathetic about Star Wars. They know we're tired of activism. So why the fuck would you make a Star Wars movie starring Ray with an activist doing it? Star Wars theory. I know you, you don't watch much of Star Wars theory, do you? No, but I understand people like to make men feel uncomfortable. Uh, and again, and everyone, because everyone brings it up. Yes, uh, we understand that that's an eight-year-old comment in the context of a wef pakistani woman's forum or whatever about abuse and that she was talking about the abusers men she likes to make them i get it i get it there's fine. plenty of other clips of her talking about regular men and how in everyday life situations she likes to play the woman card when she has to and play the dumb little pakistani woman when she okay. has to but uh, but then I think she likes to intimidate men and stare them down. And she's not talking about that. So calm down. Right. But anyway, so then you, you've upset men, which I know she doesn't care about, but then you go and upset women and men by saying something dumb, like uh, maybe a woman should do something very important for star Wars for once, which has been happening for about 10 years. So essentially what star Wars theory was going with here is why do they act like, why do they ignore the women that have been there? Right. Cause we've had yeah. multiples. We've talked about Bryce Dallas, Howard, Deborah Cho. Uh, mm -hmm. Here, here, let's, let's, let me, let me, 
because again, you got to present it, stupid. Uh, share screen, Star Wars theory, because he does a, a theory talks, which is more like a relationship thing. And I think they were talking about I nothing see but. This. Yeah. Okay, but just just to go over, because I guess this is triggering a lot of people. Look, the only thing I'll say is when she says girls don't like Star Wars in this, that is a generality, and it is generally true. Well, and I only believe she since also says he turned it into a girl brand has that radically changed. I believe she also says that she's not seen Star Wars, so yeah, maybe well, she's that, generalizing. But yeah, she, I, she makes a good point. Okay, mm -hmm. and the final question I have, and we're, it's going to be a Star Wars question. So, <laughs> okay, go ahead. It, I've never it, seen Star Wars in my life. But, no, it yeah. relates to what we're so so. Once yeah. Disney took over Star Wars, they uh, they started to change the whole infrastructure around and really, you know, kind mm -hmm. of dog the men and focus on the women a lot in the sense where there mm. wasn't much training and this and that. There's a new director for one of the Star Wars movies and she says it's about time that a woman come in and shape the Star Wars mm -hmm. movies and galaxy. It was the eye roll for me. The eye roll is the it's, sexiest thing I've seen this year. Again, this is the, strip all the, the bullshit that she saw. Again, she's a psychologist. That, what we're going to talk about here is the mentality because she's talking about these people in Star Wars. This is the mentality of all these fucking activists. That take, this is what Director X and Az yells at. This is rings of power. This is the mentality of all of them. And it's causing a huge uproar on the internet. So many mm. people are saying this is ridiculous. We've had women in Star Wars Galaxy before. And other people are saying, well, you know, people's egos that are having a problem with this are very fragile and their masculinity is fragile. Yeah. What's your overall consensus when a, a female director wants to come in and reshape something and say you know it's you know, plant that flag that hey i'm a woman and you know hear me roar here is my way of making this sort of franchise which is already established now something mm -hmm. that's feminine dominant or, or female dominant whatever it might be instead yeah. of just a good story yeah i think what happens in particularly in western cultures where women have it so easy but they pretend they're not what happens with women who generally have it quite easy they enjoy victimhood because that's the only way that they can feel part of other people's struggle what replace women with gay place woman with black replace okay jesse smollett had to make up he had to pay nigerians to to do that fake attack at three in the morning because the prejudice they scream about at the top of their lungs is so fucking minuscule in the grand scheme of things that they have to make up a dragon to fight. They have to make up a struggle. Otherwise, they ain't shit. And since everything is rated on their fucking oppression Olympics, if you have no oppression, you can't play the game. So they make up the shit. Right. She's talking about, she's saying women, but it's all of it's activists. She's, it's it's right, the men. Right. It's all of them. It's all these fucking writers. What makes human beings feel alive is when they're a bit struggling, when they're going through something, where they've gone through a bit of trauma, they've gone through something, it makes them feel alive. What's happened with women in the Western world particularly is because there is no real oppression, but they want to be a victim so bad because victimhood is just a way of kind of shortcutting sympathy. Everyone just, it's a, it's a shortcut entitlement. You get what you want without having to earn it because you just happen to. Whole and what? Every single fucking person they hire has gotten what they wanted without deserving it because they've screamed all those check boxes that we just looked at. And that's how they rate everything. Oppression, skin tank. color. Oh, I'm sorry. Every one of those projects tank. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're all at the expense of character and story. But it's all the same thing. It's all the same. It's a bunch of fucking victims that want a dragon. There's no oppression. There's no struggle for them. And so they make the shit up. They take it over. They take over already popular things to be a victim. Then, so what happens is they want to start finding places where they can be a victim and then transform it so that they can become a hero. So what they'll do is. Oh, the poor. I'm going to liberate. It's about time the women shape the Star Wars that we it's about the, the oppressive patriarchy has had Star Wars in its grasp, even though fucking Kathleen Kennedy and all her fucking gaggle of demons have been in charge for the past decade show me the man that's been shaping star wars and if you say dave filoni i'll die laughing i'm not saying anybody's names i again yeah john favreau i like him he's base but at the end of the day he's got no balls you got no scrote john boy because you didn't no stand shame. up for gina carano yeah that because she wouldn't, lot. because she put beep bop boop instead of bowing to their fucking ideology and you didn't stand up. You should have walked.
You should hey, have walked. I want to see the alternate timeline where someone backed her up and all of this wasn't created. Yeah, well, whatever that timeline is, I like to hop, skip, and jump into it because at least maybe in that one they didn't cancel the Daredevil Netflix one, and we don't have to go into this rebooting of something that was already done well. But we are, and part of that rebooting is news of the villain for Daredevil: Born Again again, since we already did this shit in season three of the Netflix one. But I digress, and that is you had to look this up for me because I couldn't be bothered. Muse, not the band. The serial killer villain. Thoughts? I, it's one of those things where it's like you could have done anything and you chose the back of the list. I mean, they what? What are the dead, uh, the Daredevil ones? They did Jigsaw and they did, uh, no, Jigsaw's Punisher. Yeah. Yeah. Who the fuck did they do? Uh, 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 Bullseye's always done. Jesus Christ. Yes. Bullseye. Bullseye's always done. The Kingpin. Kingpin, uh, Electra, in a sense, but it's like and they did the lead. So many people, or whatever the the hand, whatever the yeah. I we'll see. I have no, I have no faith for anything in that, especially yeah. after what we just saw in Echo. If that now, granted, that might have been a holdover from the original shit that they then canceled those eight after eight episodes were filmed and canceled into redoing it. That might have been that version. Which it, it, I wonder if he was in it anymore. Probably was. Uh, oh, most certainly, because like, as I said, Echo was eight fucking episodes before they yeah. cut it down to five or six and then cut out another one down to five. Uh, I, I just, I don't, it's not looking great. It's not looking great no. because they're not focusing on the shit that they need to. And something they really need to focus on as far as I'm concerned, because while everyone is waiting for Deadpool in 2024, they need to spend that entire working on, like, just as James Gunn needs to focus on nothing else but Superman Legacy, as far as I'm concerned, Marvel should be focusing on nothing else but the fucking Fantastic Four. That's it. Yeah. That, that's, that's the reboot movie. Yeah. Oh, it's, gonna, I, it's Imagine ruining something that's never ruining actually it. had a leg to stand on. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it's going to be chocked ta full of uh, jokes like that. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, the Fantastic Four setting has apparently now I've heard this for months and then it's been backed up in several different ways. So it is I'm going with it that the time period is going to be in like a 60s Kirby style original it would sound Fantastic Four, at least for part of the movie. until I'm sure at the end they jump to our time period or our world. Tell him to go back. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot. That There's nothing go good here. You're going to get uh, turned into spaghetti, man. Or you're going to get all the men in this world get turned into cucked little bitches, which is exactly exactly what happens to, to dead. <laughs> sorry, I was going to call him dead eye. No, was, uh, exactly what happens to Kingpin. Might as well call him dead eye. He tried to, we did a video of him trying to explain how he survives Hawkeye, and it was a shitty explanation that didn't really pan out. Yeah, he got hurt yeah. real bad, even though he showed up with just a shitty little scar. I, I, a scratch, a scratch. It like grazed him, I guess. He was point blank. And so he's got some nasty, like, gunpowder burns on his face and needed a really expensive eyepiece. What? She shot him point blank. Point, point blank in the face. Like, why? I know. I, I was going to make a joke. This is the case of, uh, I'm not even I'm gonna pull a Gary and just retract that whole joke right there that probably would have <laughs> I'll throw one out. I yeah, know what happens. What? what you know on a tripod um, you've got different you got different height settings. Yeah. He might have been up too high or down too low. And when she shot, she thought she shot him in the eye, but she went a little higher low. I see she, un, she un she unconsciously she internalized her love for him and love. She didn't want to kill didn't him. Allow, yes. Uh yeah, sure. You know, the next one, and there's no sub, there's no, there's no segue to it, is this fucking Charmin Ultra. It And the constant, and again, we, no matter how many times we explain it, no, no one gives a shit that she's a woman. No one gives a shit that she says, I mean, yeah, it's not good. And it's also a negative, a lot of a problem, but like the making men uncomfortable, even the, the playing the woman card, even all that. I don't care about any of that. It's specifically 
the it's time for a woman to shape Star Wars while we all are screaming that that's all it has been. That they, even most of the women are like, okay, we can have men in it too. We can yeah. have men in it too. But then as pointed out, that, yeah, but Disney has that not so secret gay agenda that they, they don't like heteronormative. So even when my comment section, I see, I see our lovely women audience, all 3% of you saying, yeah, well, we, we like looking at, uh, at hetero men too. We don't all need strong women. Yeah. It's refreshing, yeah. isn't it? To see the real women show up. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. They're out there. They're out there, Jerry. I know. Let them know that uh, we're single, uh, we're straight, <laughs> and if they have anybody in mind, drop a DM. Heteronormative is a okay. Uh, and then, you know, of course, that's the Diacon that we 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 showed a little early, but that was the video that got everyone upset. And oh man, Star Wars theories get also getting a lot of heat because he's he's seen through the lies of the Jedi. Here, look. Here's what it is. Here's what it is. Because people are gonna call. Oh, he's a fucking shill. He was lying. No. No, 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 no. Star Wars theory, now hold on to your butts, is a fucking Star Wars fan. He really likes the shit. And for the longest time, he believed, he believed, he trusted, he wanted, he wanted, he wanted, he wanted, he wanted, he wanted. He believed longer than anyone he believed. And guess what? You fucking have crushed that from him. Kill that in him. You could turn me into a John Wick monologue. <laughs> but that's, that's what you've done to all of us. You've destroyed the man. So he has yeah. nothing, and, and he has no reason, because even when he was being as polite as he was, he was getting both sides. Our I mean, not me specifically, but our side was like, motherfucker, why are you making excuses for them? Why are you right. still trying to say that any of this is And the other side is going, oh, oh Theory, you're so toxic. It's just, so he can't win for losing. Right. So now he has no choice to be like, all right, I'm just going to go back to do what originally, talk about what I want to talk about, talk about fucking bullshit theories and fanfic. That, that I make up, I do. It's the Iron Age thing of you just make his own fanfic and just talk his true, true, not giving a yeah. shit what the audience is going to say because he's going to get accused of, and that's really the truth for all of it. No matter how carefully we try to explain it, there's still people that are going to come in here and go, fucking homophobe, alt right, blah, 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 just spew a bunch of trigger words. Yeah, they one of the things the I dig about Theory uh, is that he's got, I think, as, as many or close to uh, followers, for instance, than the actual Star Wars page. Three plus million, yeah. And, you oh, know, so the guy knows his shit, he likes his shit, and you just keep ruining it. The fact that Mahler, Jay, Ryan, Jeremy are friends with him should tell you all. Now, I'm sure some people are here that go, that means he's a piece of shit. No, you assholes. Yeah. It means that he's a good guy that's not, he's base, he's full, he, he's, he's authentic. And that's really, these days, all anyone should give a fuck about is authenticity. Does the person real. you hear believe what they are saying? Dear God, I hope they do. So say we all. So say we all. And so say that. We talked about Aquaman making 400. It did that. God bless him. Go for it. Uh, Star Wars movies, because again, and this is a couple different debates on this. I personally think that they s are so fucking tone deaf. Uh, Creativity's Vanguard thinks they do it on purpose, that they are intentionally trying to divide us. And I would not fault him. And I do believe a certain subset, uh, subsect of that Lucasfilm, that writer group definitely are trying to piss people off. I believe the other half are so fucking tone deaf that they are not understanding the thing. Everyone loves Ray. They think so that when, the internet lost its collective shit. They went, ooh, okay, maybe we should not put this out as the first Star Wars movie since R R R Rise of Skywalker, Return of whatever, Range of Rise of Palpatine. And since John Favreau basically already has season four of Mandalorian done, written, and has had it done for a while, they just went, cut it down to a movie, and we're getting the most original title ever for a movie, The Mandalorian and Grogu. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you about my best friend. How much more? Chris Gore said it. Like, how much more of their fucking story do we need? We got it. And they did it. Is he going to be kidnapped again it. for his blood? Is he going to be kidnapped or taken by a Jedi again and decide he's what? What, what are we going to see? Him his first? He's a fucking Mandalorian Jedi again. He's another. Oh, what's the lame one on Ahsoka? That. that Stroking I mean, out dude, he's character. got armor. He's got the skill Sabine. for the, the force abilities. He's another. He's a Mandalorian with the force. He's another Sabine. He's another Visit oh, yeah. Clan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shows you how much I am. Was there anyone in the audience? You, you going, block a lot. Sabine, out. say Sabine Wren. Yeah, you know what? Thinking about that, I was gonna say someone in the chat, right? You 
we'll be able to go live at some point. That'll be fun. I mean, look, just to so know, we can go live whenever, but I'm going to save it, I believe, to the 1,000 yeah, yeah. subscribers. But everyone, let me know what you think of that. Would you tune in to a live wrap-up show every Friday if we started going live? Let me know. We'll think about that. Uh, Last of Us. You liked it, right? You watched it. Uh, Okay. Season Again, one. I'm one of those assholes who I, I watched the show without actually playing the entirety of the game. I played like the uh, intro. Did you hear anyone ask you if you played yeah, that yeah. game? Did I watch the show? Yes. Did I like it? Yeah. I did. Okay. That's all that matters for the for the purpose of this. Normie. Because yes, because that's a whole nother other function that I we're know. not even going to talk about yet. Special treat special DLC of the real world for people that played that game. Uh, even though obviously we know what happens. I don't want to spoil it. I know. Anymore. Yeah. Last of yeah, Us yeah, has found fine. though, if you if you've ever heard of an Abby, they found their Abby. And let's just say she better start eating hamburgers and putting on weight. She better start lifting. I, I like the actress and everything I've seen her in. It's only been a handful of things, but uh, a handful more than I've seen her in. You you're you're getting it's it's the um it's the girl from uh the Tim Allen show that he did recently, the last show he did. Oh, the um, last man standing. Last man standing, thank you. Oh, well, there you go. Um, he, she was the younger daughter. Well, then I have and... seen him. I have seen her. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. She's <laughs> good. If she's playing Abby, then I wasn't far off calling her, calling her a him. Uh, God bless her. Hope it's fun. Can't wait to see the reaction to season two. I'm sure it's going to get us a bunch of subscribers. I you will know, they actually released train. the second character that they've casted for that. And I'm not sure the young lady's name, but it was another female character. Who's she playing? I'll pull it up. Yeah. Pull it up. Pull it out. Hey. -o. I mean, I I don't foresee myself going back and watching Last of Us. I really don't. They found Dina for season two. Isabella oh. Merced. That's nice. If you like Dina, they found her. They found her. Uh one thing unfortunately we did find. One thing that I, I'm sorry. It's just no matter how much they hyped it up, it fell on deaf ears. You know, no matter how much they spent on promotion, no matter how much of a leg up they gave it, it just, I, it failed. It failed. It just got the rug swept up from underneath them on it. And you should see, you should see these poor people in the interviews. It is an absolute trail of tears. No, I think we can get a few more out of it. Ah. I'm trying not ah. to. <laughs> yeah. Echo season one, all the fucking episodes. Uh, it, it went from, it went from PG 13, bad violence to Hallmark movie to MCU at a level not seen since in game. What? I don't even have words for some of the girl boss writing that like clicked every single checkbox including giving powers to an old woman and a little woman as they beat the shit out of a bunch of women at the end or men at the end big big old burly men wasn't it fun well you don't understand the way that power can be transferred from your power ancient that, relatives <laughs> the power that she doesn't have in the comic oh and that was the I clicked it before Ryan said it when when they talked about it. You know, the whole time we're looking and I'm looking up Alakwa and she's she's not uh, Choctaw, she's not Cheyenne, she's from Mimimimidity or something like that. And then you look up and I'm looking up like, what, does she have these lame ass powers in the comic? You look up the comics, she she can like just echo back people's powers like Taskmaster more or less, and she has a, a Olympic uh, Olympic level uh, level athlete, and she's from the Cheyenne tribe. And you go, why the fuck did they pick Choctaw? And then you go and you look, and this is Choctaw is a matriarchal tribe, so of course they fucking pick right. that. So they could make everything about women and matriarchy and MG. Okay, but how is nobody irritated and up in arms that where's the, the Cheyenne change? pissed that they're fucking represented? Yeah. Because and again, you mean this we could have had a show. This is the and as pointed this out also that this is the soft bigotry of low expectations that to these higher ups that these these virtue signaling uh, activists that create dragons. Yeah, all these fucking Native Americans are the same to them. That's the truth Good of it. Point. Because where the fuck is the Cheyenne going? Wait, 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 wait. 
Why did you change it to a completely different fucking tribe? Where's our representation? What, right. Where's the outrage that a non Choctaw is playing a Choctaw? Well, you see the way her abilities are set up. Yeah. Hypocrisy. Thy name is leftist activism because they're real, real fucking choosy about what they get upset about. This is that old dandy of that any fucking black character could play any character in history regardless. But if you even suggest that a white character play a historically black or a black character character, holy fuck. Racism! I, just, I, I can't, I can't take, I can't take it anymore. I can't. No more. No more. No more. I refuse to condone it. I refuse to condone it. Uh, we're going to talk about another one of those instances coming. But another thing I can't condone is the shitty games as a service. We saw it with Avengers. We saw it with Anthem, which really failed before them. I'm tired of all of them. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice is coming out. It's looking to be exactly on top of all the weird ass shit and the Kevin Conroy and the Justice League killed or not killed bunch of unindustrial characters with DLC is exactly what this is turning out to be. You ready? You ready to pay a dollar ninety nine for different teleportation modes? No, I didn't want to do it with the Avengers, but I did it with the Avengers because why? You like it the went Avengers? On Game Pass? <laughs> no, yeah. you like the Avengers. So no, you, you like Miss Marvel. You realize? No, you like Miss Marvel, and you wanted a game over... starring hey, Miss Marvel. Let me tell you something. I will take. The Avengers video game Miss Marvel over the bullshit that they gave her power wise on the damn TV show, which they did because no one was paying attention when they made a Pakistani Muslim. And if you look in the Muslims little book there, magic is bad. So they had to change it from. Uh, well, technically, she was an inhuman with stretchy powers, but they had to change yeah, it yeah. to cosmic energy. I feel like that's more magic. You would think. You would think, I do. but I guess you could just explain it as space shit, even though I think it's just going to be regular shit. <laughs> just regular shit. Speaking of regular shit, we got another with, uh, we got all those girls in Madam Web. Uh, God bless Sony. They're, they're trying. They're doing something. They can't use Spider-Man, so they're just going to shit out everything else. Yeah. Yeah. Madam Web, Craven. Oh, Go. man. Listen, okay. Uh, well, listen, you you have my attention now. She's hot, and again, I said that I'm old. I'm I was only aware of the older. Uh, one of our friends, uh, fellow uh, commentators, uh, the great Dead Pulio, had informed me. No, no, no. They have done a a younger, red haired version of her, similar to this suit and some of the other Avenger and Spider Man adaptations. So, okay. To that, I give Put a your hand away from that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Woo Woo yeah. I don't know. It's cool. It's probably going to be mid to mildly. It's, it's going to be another like Morbius where it happens. People complain. It's going to be another. How come no one watched it when you said you wanted superhero stuff? Well, we wanted I'm, I'm superhero hoping, stuff. I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. That's how hard you're hoping. I'm hoping. It's like when there's going to be a reckoning, the opening, the opening. If every if things start going well, we get like a couple movies that aren't shit. It'll be the opening. Everyone will start having hope again. No, I'm I'm hoping if maybe it'll just it's just like on a level of like venom, mildly yeah. not offensive, hot chicks in tight costumes. I can uh, I can know, survive as long as it's not like I don't want to even say campy. As long as every it's got to make sense, dude. They keep doing things that just don't pan out. You're like, well, how come? How come they went through all that when they could have just did this? Well, at least in this next case, it's probably because someone has significant evidence of crimes, uh, or or some sort of blackmail. Because somehow, fucking bad robot, which as far as I'm concerned is JJ. I mean, it's his company, but anything bad robot is JJ. They're getting another. They're still trying to do Star Trek Four. And they're doing an origin movie in the same J.J. universe. That, that This man who has destroyed not just Star Wars, but Star Trek. Why? How? Why? Who? Who are these people that keep giving him the, the, the franchises? Stop it. Stop it. What happened to like the three strikes rule, man? We should put that in everything. Oh, this naysayer is on like his sixth strike. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, you know, look. 
I worked at Walmart for a while. I had letters written to the president of the company saying how much of an asshole I was to certain people because let's face it, Swig you can a crystal light for the working so man. My 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 point here is if they didn't fire me, they're not gonna fire you if you do work. Okay. So yeah, he keeps doing work and some people like it, but dude, you're, you're I don't putting out know. shit. No. He, the last thing he did was Rise of Skywalker, and he ain't nobody like that. But it just points to a larger mm-hmm. thing of these fuckers fail upward. They fail upward. But and so, I, yeah, what's this one supposed to be about? Uh, he's, he's helming Star Trek again. What, what are they going to do now? They're going to go back in time, right? And they're going to add pronouns earlier. That's right. They got to cement s- it. They're going to stop World War III from happening by having Greta Thunberg take over. Just got to let people be them, man. Did you know I saw something? She has like eight cars and like nine villas. Yeah, nice? but I'm sure it's all like very, you know, the next earth-friendly. natural extinction. Speaking of natural extinctions. We should all be 28 so years later. Kind of. Kind I'm, of. Like I'm worried I'm about anything about these days. The app only the only reason is because it's Danny Boyle and Alex Garland. Now, Alex Garland maybe worries me more than Danny Boyle, but Danny Boyle gives less he's base as fuck. Ain't no shenanigans gonna go on in his movie. And it's rage zombies, right. the most terrifying of all the zombies. Yes. I do appreciate a good like I'm not looking for brains. I just want to smash your face in. I get it. No. There's, like I said, in the playground of the post apocalyptic, zombies is a popular one, but there's a scale from Night of the Living Dead, the fuckers barely shamble, and if you get Perfect. killed, it's your fault. Yeah. To Rage Zombie, World War Z, Swarm Zombie, which are almost the same, both terrifying, and then like you bit, you're you're done in 30 seconds. Those are the worst zombies. You that's not a fun, that's not a fun world to play in. That's why I don't play that World War Z game. Fuck all that. I guess you could say the uh, Dawn of the Dead is similar, right? Like they're pretty docile until they see you, and then it's it's all rage. I am all right with the mixture of that. The one with the this is when they're in the the motel, right? The one oddly enough in written by James Gunn and directed by Zack Snyder. And yeah. Dawn of the Dead that was in the mall. I am fine with the ones that most of the time they shamble, and every once in a while you get an ornery run that could fucking shamble yeah. quicker or do a little jiggy jag. Not to be yeah. confused with the slur. Yeah. No. 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 Speaking of things that will screw you up, David Ayer, slurs. <laughs> director had slurs because, yeah, director of the Suicide Squad, who was trying to get the Suicide Squad cut thing going like this, like the Snyder cut. That just did not work out for him. Uh, said he gave up, you know, but he he basically started doing an interview where he said, that, yeah, yeah, his cut was one of the greatest comic book movies ever. And I'm not going to lie. Gonna Other sound- comic no. book movies are good. You know, no cap, but I think you might be telling the truth. No, <laughs> what what it sounded like in the original description of what it was before they abandoned Zack Snyder's vision and like having it be par- parademons and Joker working with Steppenwolf. And like, again, I maintain that like the first 70 percent of that movie is dope. Like it worked. I think it all works. All the characters. Yeah. OK, I'm not the biggest fan of the way they went with uh, Killer Croc. Yeah, for multiple uh, forget the BET and all that shit. I I don't yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. I like him to be more fucking croc like. Yeah, less human, more croc. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want him putting on hoodies and shit like that. But I I hope one day maybe 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 even if it's a sign of good faith they 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 release that one. It, it you know because say what you want, but the Snyder cut was better. Even if you think it was shit, it's better shit. Yeah, that's what's important. I guess I was trying to think of the way to say that earlier when you were discussing uh, the new Aquaman. Yeah, like, well, you're the winner of this shit. Something, something I think that we're about to have the exact same experience with. Something that I've blocked out. That when you told me about it, I thought you were talking about the poster, and I didn't realize that there was a fucking trailer. Oh yeah. Paramount still has Halo in their grasps. And I and I re- and again when I try to under- to get people to understand, it's okay if you like it. I just this isn't Halo and it it saddens me to my core 
that some people might watch this show and think, oh, that's what all these people are talking about, Halo? No. No. Oh, my God. Until, you have no idea. Until you have been in chief suit, until you've charged the enemy with dun 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 and felt it in your soul, you don't know what Halo is. And I pray every single one gets a chance. But let's do it. Let's do it. We got about 15 minutes left on the show. We got time for it. Let's watch this trailer. We won't interrupt it. We'll get copyright claim, but who cares? Enjoy Paramount. You're not getting me fucking you you're not getting me blood volume. out of this stone. Volumes up. You ready? No. What? You don't want me to? I think we have All right, to fine. Go. All right. I don't even remember if I finished the first season. I bring you blessings. Know that I am the instrument of your. He's watching the trailer and she's just as dumbfounded as me. Know that I am. Oh, look, his helmet's on. Yeah, he did the thing. Sometimes you said something, and it, I, I, it makes a lot of sense. This they nail the visuals and the beauty, the world, but That's everything else nailed. about the show is just garbage. Yeah. And I guarantee you, this is what Fallout will be. I'm sorry, and you know what? I'll be bold. This is a three P. This is probably what Avatar is going to be too. It's going to look great. It's gonna look yeah. great, but we save what we can. Look at your faces. I do not see defeat. No. And I do not see surrender. You will not make the stand alone. We have something the enemy does not. I just call it a victory. I'm saying this because of me. Because of something I did. Or something you are. Something you can't see. But you feel it. I mean, you're not going to fool me. There was definitely some moments there that looked good. But again, this is action figures. It's what we talk about all the time. It's cool action figures. And so even when you play with them badly, they still look cool. I would take, <clears throat> and my honorable mention for the week, even though you didn't ask, is uh, I watched this week's episode of Reacher before we Which I on. haven't, which is why I didn't fucking ask. Yeah, not going to spoil it because you know it's good. But what I'm saying is, and I heard it lit in on a cliffhanger too. So, oh, it's a fat cliffhanger, but which is yeah, why I'm not in exactly in a hurry to, yeah. However, I will take one more proper fleshed out episode for this season of Reacher than to watch anything of that damn show. That Halo show looks the same as it did in the first season. Like you said, beautiful, fucking pointless. There might be some cool scenes of him of the Spartans with fighting. his helmet off. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, or on because clearly we saw some fight scenes with it on. But that, those again are probably like a minute or two. It's like the beginning of the first episode and the last episode, and just through the middle. Uh, All right. I, 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 this next one I want to hold off on. Just skip over for a second. Uh, Top Gun Three. You ready for it? Yeah, I'm here for it. Yeah, me too. Unexpected, especially since we had that uh, picture uh, that uh, with Warner Brothers that uh, Tom Cruise is doing. But then you find out it was non-exclusive, so he's still with Paramount. Because the the by all accounts, he was upset at Paramount. 
uh, and that's why he was quote unquote leaving. But I guess this is just in addition to. So hey, Tom Cruise, the only remaining movie star for more, I think more or less right now. I'm not Tom sure Cruise. anyone else. Crazy yeah, human being, solid actor. Why is he so good in sci-fi movies? He believes it's real. Right. Unfortunately, it's just a dude playing a dude. Just a dude playing a dude, and uh, oh yeah, let's get that one too. We'll keep those together because they're all sort of connected. Another dude playing a dude, even though I don't think this dude should be playing the dude because they won't stop. This goes on doubling down. Lawrence Fishburne is going to play Regis, the higher vampire, of course, in Blood and Wine DLCs and the books and all that. But is it a lot of the shit that everyone's like talking about the witch in the books that were made way more popular by the video game. The book people don't want to admit that. But yeah, Lawrence Fishburne is black, who's playing a white vampire. And I know people, well, what does it matter? You're playing a vampire because it's called verisimilitude. You pay attention to the logic of as much as you can and as much of it so that when you veer off, you have a little bit of leeway for it. But if you fucking veer off of everything, it all loses its luster. And you're what are you adapting? You're, that's the point. I don't know what they're adapting now, but they haven't been making The Witcher for quite some time, which is why Henry left. Yeah, I'm still again, I'm so glad I didn't get into it at all. I I'm I like the game. I'm more into going back. Hell, I'll read a book before watching this show. I fooled myself into thinking that first season was acceptable on the promise, much like force awakens fooled myself into loops absence of the promise of the neck one that they would follow up. And all they did is hurt me. I, I, I will no longer fool myself. Shame on me. Shame on you. That old fun one, which is yeah. exactly should explain my feelings on all of this stuff, including the new Jedi order movie, which we know regardless of what they do, I think is shit because this is Luke's story and now they're going to give it to her. But it turns out regardless of what uh, Miss Charmin ultra thinks, there's no fucking script. By all accounts, there's no script for this because all the rumors we've heard have all been overturned. Like they were something they're not now. And whoever was writing the script, Stephen Knight, not doing it. He hasn't even gotten a chance. They just gave it to him after their last one basically canceled out. He hasn't even gotten a chance to do it yet. So we've got a movie with a director. We've got a car, no fucking gas in it, and no real destination other than somewhere that'll piss off a bunch of people and lose money. Yeah, all we know for sure is that it's going to be led by a woman. They're going to get there. Yeah, and well, that leads into something that is with a woman. And I actually have a little bit just on what he was saying. And of course, James Gunn, everyone famous, uh, Supergirl casting for the woman of tomorrow. Because of course, we can't have Superman without Supergirl. Yeah, but at the you same excited? time, there's different ways to do it. Well, it depends on how they do it. Yeah, he he mentioned her being the one that like saw everyone die, like the injustice to Brainiac invasion ever, you know, however they're going to do Krypton blowing apart. I'm good with that one. I like that one. I also like the one where they're miniaturized or I like the one where she's blown off course and she shows up and. Yeah, we'll see. No, I, a little 15, like hardcore Supergirl killing everyone is always fun. Little hit girl action type vibes. Uh, as long as it's done right. Older, yeah, I say, especially if we've got an older Superman and Batman who's already got Robins, and, you know, because it's essentially a kid dynamic, a, a teen. Dynamic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but she's stronger than all of them. Like, I'm, I'm okay with that. I just make it right. That never made any fucking sense to me. He, Clark is stronger than any Kryptonian because he's been on Earth longer, absorbing more of the yellow sun. Point blank, mm -hmm. period. End of story. Yeah. Sure. And most of the comics back that up, even though I'm sure there's some assholes will point. Well, issue number 74 of fucking Supergirl in this one circumstance. Uh, <laughs> getting, we had Drinker reacted to his video. Uh, he watched Echo. Surprise, surprise. He didn't like it either. No. No, I didn't think he would. No. I don't. I don't. I haven't heard anyone say anything good about it other than the comment section that are all. Not my comment section, not his, but like if you go on like a random comic book, something or other on Facebook, it's just all of it's a sudden a filled with people who are Native American or missing legs and eyes and a pale face. They're bringing pale face back. I got called pale face. That was nice. That's a good one. Showing uh, what, you did, uh, what did Biscuits well. say? Oh, yeah. What Whenever he, Ryan story? went to the trouble of translating that, he definitely said like die whitey or whatever. It's nice. It's nice uh, to see what. 
they do. It's nice to see what they do, all these activists. And we saw Sadia Khan talk about that they're making up dragons because it's all about oppression. And unfortunately, those have very real consequences beyond like consequences for us of all of our shit is ruined, burned to the ground. And now we're sitting there holding the body, seeing if maybe we can tape them back together before it's too late. But they have a real financial repercussions that flop after flop after flop after flop. Yeah, they have State Street, Vanguard, BlackRock. They have all these investment companies that can only cover so many losses. And now we're seeing the effects. We're seeing the effects. Disney has fired many a people. Amazon Prime is now firing Amazon Video specifically, Twitch. All of these companies are firing hundreds, thousands of people in some case because it's getting real. You can't and absorb. I mean, I, I- I'm not losses. wishing like harm on anybody's livelihood or anything. No, 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 because the people getting fired aren't the ones that need to be fired. I was going to say, you're hoping they're letting go of the right people, you know, but they're probably not. No, no, no. Streaming doesn't make money. That's why they're getting fired. And then the streaming that does make money is good, right? The Reachers, all this other generic shit that they spend billions, the rings of power. And that's it. And it's the same reason they can't fire Charmin, Charmin Ultra. It's the same because they announced it. It's the same reason they can't cancel Rings of Power because they said they were committed to five seasons. It's the same. All they can do is double down and act like we're I the see. Simpsons. No, no. It's the children who are out of touch. Can someone think of the children. Oh, someone please think of the children. You know what? I was watching because uh, I, I guess I'm an asshole in many ways. And one of them is I'm committed. I've seen every single episode of The Simpsons. So I'm watching this current season and my daughter says, are they ever going to end this? I said, God, I hope so. It's not the Simpsons anymore. In fact, Homer made a reference in an episode. These deep cuts are hilarious. Homer goes, uh, he he shakes a a new neighbor's hand and the guy says, wow, quite a grip. And he goes, you see, honey, all those years of choking Bart has paid off, but I don't do that anymore because, you know, we live in a different time. Yeah, uh, we need to go back to it. And I apologize. This site does not have a night mode. I know a dark mode, whatever you want to call it. But this is our last one. This was the video we did. I know it was going to piss people off, but it's important. And again, he's going to say the left. I'm going to say activists because these fuckers would come from any avenue they could. Back in the day, it was they were trying. It was it was on the right activists. They were trying to cancel video games and rap music. So there's always an activist right now. Yeah, it's the left that's infested with them. And his basically this whole opinion article is they know the jig is up. There's nothing more dangerous than a wounded animal. They've got all of our franchises by the balls. Are they really? We think they're destroyed. The truth is they're not. They're beat. They're almost destroyed, but there's still life. They could all be brought back rather simply, actually. I think we all we're, we've all been hurt so bad that we lie to ourselves and we say that we're apathetic and we don't care and that they're dead. But I think the truth is we know, and maybe we're, we're playing dead because we know these vultures are like a bear still sniffing if there's any life to fuck it up left. But we all deep down know that no, 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 we could bring back all with just a couple of episodes and a couple of movies of the right people being in charge. But because the jig is up, because now people are getting fired and losing their jobs, are they going to go fucking scorched earth and just trans everyone, make everyone gay, kill all the legacy characters that are still alive? It's an like interesting civil war use there. Yeah, it's like a civil, which again couldn't even get that done the correct way. Again, yeah. we had here. It's, it's one of those things when you try and explain the culture war to people that aren't paying attention to it, or they're just every once in a while they see something and they're not lunatics like us that can see all the puzzle pieces one after another after another. This character's gay, this character, John Kent, Iceman, you know, Tim Drake. And once you see it all, it's very apparent, which makes us feel like we're insane when other people go, I don't see the big deal. It's because they're not, it's much the Alex Jones phenomenon of he was into all that shit for so long that when other people don't see it, it dry, it's like, what? you have to take the time to explain it all. So that's why I like these articles that really show everything they're doing. But I, his basically his postulation is not just that what we just saw of Sadia Khan that like, no, no, it's not. They're doubling down because they think they're right. And because this is the only opportunity they have. He's saying they're doubling down because no, fuck you. We're speeding up, which is what a lot of people are actually calling is Gary and them. They're like, no, yeah, fine accelerate it just do all the things do everything you want and more and that's essentially what i 
I don't like that. I understand it. That's a solid tactic. And we might come to that point. I don't like that. I think we need to instead, the weak point is the money, the money. They can't keep losing money like this. That's where they're weak. And I don't think they can survive another year. So this is when they're weakest is when we need to stab them with logic and reason. That's why we need to get behind the Nelson Pelts and the Ike Pearl Mutters and the Jay Rizuls. They need to get their fucking seats on that board so that they can just return to sanity. Return to sanity, which ironically would make them money. Heteronormative, nuclear family, traditional storytelling, heroes. Again, that's that rant I had about Charmin Ultra. Where the fuck was the thing about, you know, turning boys into heroes and showing them it's, you know, how to be protectors of women? It's just let's get it back together, people. Let's get it back together. That's the goal for this year. Don't let it hold the line this far. No further. We let it go for too long. In fact, before we go, you vamp for a second. You vamp. Tell me what you're looking forward to uh, for the new year. And I'm going to find I'm gonna find this one thing to close us out. What am I looking forward yeah, what to? What are you looking I forward mean, to uh, movie-wise? That, that was we, it. We've, covered. We've, we've, we've talked about... Uh, Top Gun 3. Top Gun. Well, I don't know if that'll come out this coming up year, but uh, Deadpool. It's probably yes. it that I off the top of my head, but there's other ones like uh, uh, Jason Statham has a new one out, I think, called The Beekeeper. Uh, you've got the one oh, with. Uh, did you hear about that? No, obviously not. It, not, not to that degree. Intersectional feminist. Every man okay. is a piece of shit except for Jason Statham. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Um, I wanted to close this out because this is my reaction. And then I'm just, in fact, say goodbye now, Mr. Tech Rab, because when this is it, we're just going to do a hard out. Goodbye, Mr. Tech Rab. Okay. This is my reaction to everyone saying that we need to give up on our franchises, that they're done and we need to just move on. I agree. We need the Iron Age and making our own things, but we can't let go. So this is what I say. Instead of the Borg, he, he's talking about the Borg. I'm talking about these fucking activists. space and we fall back they assimilate entire worlds and we fall back not again the line must be drawn here this far no farther and i will make them pay for what they've done rest in peace luke skywalker